Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Welcome back everyone to the Finca and another video. Um, we're currently working on this wall. For anyone that's new here, um, the wall, uh, it was just a crumbling hole filled, well mess basically. And um, in the last video, I've filled in all the holes, got it somewhere near pretty solid. It's looking quite good actually, I think. It's looking very nice actually. Um, I'm gonna start pointing it up now. Um, but in addition, I just don't want to spend the forever pointing it until it's done. I'm going to be doing other things, um, which I'll show you shortly, um, to, to break up the monotony. So, um, first thing, the, oh, the other thing, I'm, I'm debating, debating, let me know what you think, um, whether to render this and lime wash it, whitewash it the same as the ceiling. Um, I'm, Jury's still out, I need to discuss it with Sharon as well, but she's not here at the moment, she's back in the UK seeing and spending some time with her mum. Um, and it's kind of, there's no, there's no urgency right at this minute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a mix on and start pointing this wall up, make it look pretty. First job as always is to wet it down. <laughs> Again, I've got a thing I need to, um, Trying to even up this top where it meets the, the ceiling, get a nice straight line on that. It's not going to be easy. And I'm only doing a bit at a time because it does dry out very quickly, as I've said before. So, excellent. As always, I'm using um, a traditional sand and lime mix. Sticking it in by hand, bit of a stretch up there. I'm going to work this top first and see if we can smooth that out a bit, and then we'll have to touch up the lime wash after, but that's not a problem. Oh. That's coming along nicely. I've done all down this side. From that bit that I missed there. <laughs> um, work done all along the top, done down that side where it joins the, uh, the chimney breast. Just going to get this middle filled in. Should have a bit of mix to do that. And then I'll be doing something different because I've had enough already. <laughs> When it goes off a bit, I shall brush it all down, as always, just to blend it in. And you can't really see the effects until it dries either. But uh, we'll keep plodding on. Right, okay, there we go. That mix went quite a long way, actually. All the way down to here, probably because I put all those stones in um, yesterday. Um, I've actually, and the little light in here, and I'll show you. It's just flaring out a bit. <laughs> um, sorry. I've actually just set some stones around it though. I'm going to build it in so it's like inset into the stones. Um, it might be better to turn it off and you might be able to see better. Well, maybe a bit. Actually, you can't see anything at all now. <laughs> Not to worry. Um, I'll show you when it's finished anyway. Right, it's on the other side of the room. Um, I'm trying to put a bit of perspective on it for you. The wall that I've just been working on is right behind you with the better one in it. Um, that's the old corral um, through there. That's the back door that goes out into the, the lower courtyard. That goes through to the main house. And this is gonna be um, office and another bedroom, whatever. Um, but um, because that entrance was closed up at some point, there's another entrance through here. I can walk right through. So what I want to do, I want to block up um, the entrance there, basically. 
So it's going to be, we're going to have like a little bar area there, that's the idea. And again, as I said, that's the office. So I want to block it up, um, but I want to put shelves in it that can be used from either side, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So there we go, <laughs> again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we've got the entrance here um, into the office, which we're standing in now. That's the entrance there that goes through to the main house, which is over there. That, of course, is the kitchen that away. Now, the old kitchen, because that's actually not going to be the kitchen in the future. Um, so this wall, oh, the light's gone out now. At the other side of the opening, um, I'm going to use, I've got some big stones, I think I'm going to use um, to block it up maybe I don't know a meter perhaps and then make the shelves above um, so yeah but that's my plan anyway so let's have a look to start me off <laughs> I've got four pretty massive stones oh. that can hardly move um, these will certainly help I think if I put this one on the bottom with this face pointing out into the passageway, that'll make a pretty good impact <laughs> on the wall uh, as you walk through, which is always nice. Um, the walls, that wall is 41 centimetres thick, um, so this stone isn't quite, but I'll have to build up the back a bit, a bit perhaps as well. Um, but I think, yeah, <laughs> we'll just, let's do it. <laughs> start off with the most difficult one. It's quite round so it's not so bad to roll. I've got some more of these in there for that that other door in there that's going to be stoned up as well but this is no they're not good because of that many we'll never physically lift them up high enough to what we want so we'll just use them on the bottom. There. So this is kind of where I want him. <laughs> um, technically now, all I need to, I'm going to make a mix. All I need to do is tip him forward, chuck the mix on the floor, and, and roll him back. Or even just tip him forward right now, ready for the mix. Sort of like that. Chuck my mix in here, and tip him back. That'll give us a start, won't it? Anyway, I think I'm going to build this wall up to the same level as this, or a similar level to this across here. Don't know yet, we'll see how it goes. So it goes nothing. There's a load of stones down here which will effectively make a lime creek for it to sit on. We're not bothering any foundations. The whole house is just built on um, the, the ground anyway. It's good enough for the Romans, it's good enough for me. It's got plenty of this in here. I think I'll get this one set in and then take stock. <laughs> get a good bed down though. All the lights come up now. Right, let's see what we do. Theoretically, it's rolling back now. Of course, best laid plans. Give them a wiggle about. Alrighty. I think that'll do it. I'm going to be putting a stone floor down in here as well, so that'll cover the bottom. I'm going to pack some stuff there. I'll pack some some lime under the front of it as well when when it's gone off a bit. I think for now. I'm just waiting for I've got a load of it. It's come out the back. Okay. So I've got my gloves on for this. Let's get to our Try that. There we go. Get under. It's empty. Right, 
right, so carry on. I think before I do another mix, I'm going to get some stones that will fit in. Yeah, that's going to go quite nicely in there. Just need to make a little bit of space for him. Dig that away a bit. See if I can sort a few more out for other gaps and yeah, get another mix on, get a few more in. Just so I don't wander off, I'm going to put a mark on this wall in line with that side just to keep me straight. Look, one there and another one. Try one there. I'm going to work to now to um, keep my walls straight. I know it's not very tall, but um, best of a guide. There we go, it's coming along slowly. Um, we just take our time. I've got a lot more stones in the back um, than at the front because I need to make up that extra bit of thickness. What I like to do when building a stone wall is uh, make it so it actually holds itself up so it's solid. Um, as it is, the mortar, the idea for me anyway, the mortar is just to hold the stones together, fill in the gaps basically, and if you do it that way you've got a fundamentally a strong wall. The automatic light's gone off, it doesn't quite stay on for long enough does it? But on the other side I think I'm going to use this one, um, I think I want this face facing out, it's pretty mucky actually, I'm just going to try and give it a clean up, give it a bit of a wire brush, and give it a wet down see what it looks like this back face isn't so bad either but um, by looking at this now I can see what kind of a base I need for it to sit on and obviously it just wants to be fairly level looking at that and so that shouldn't be too bad um, so I'll get this sorted out and this is the another view as you can see um, the walls this is pretty much how they were originally built they were built in two halves um, two walls with the big ones going right through and then the holes in the middle Originally in a lot of cases they were just filled up with rubble um, I'm actually going to fill it up with um, You know cement with cement Lime mortar and small stones to make it even more solid not that it needs to be solid because it's inside and not doing a lot um, just for practice more than anything That big stone I want to put here. I think um, to make a nice big front on this side as well um, so we'll carry on kind of like that <laughs> um, I'm going to let the the other stones underneath go off now because uh, I need to pack up underneath that gap there but um, obviously I want them to be solid before I do that um, but yeah he's just sat there and some considerable time later on uh, it's starting to look like a wall, a very small one, but a wall, um, excellent. Um, I'm going to have a hunt around now, find some the biggest ones I can get to fit in these gaps on there. We've only got to come up a little bit further now, I think. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, happy days. Well, I'm having a break from that other wall. <laughs> this wall has dried really nice there now, so I'm going to do a bit more of this. Give it a good soaking as always. 
I keep picking away at it, it'll soon get done. I have to guess how far we're going to get. <laughs> And wet the stones as well, see if we can get some of this. You can see it washing off. You got the old stuff that was stuck on them. Brilliant. Getting cleaned up. Just going to give them a bit of a brush out so while they're wet, while it's soft. There's not much on them, but I'd rather not have any. on fab I'm down to here um, I've done a bit round the entrance to the cave to neaten that up a little bit and a little bit more unboxing my lighting <laughs> putting the um, stones round that I'll show you that when it's finished um, in the minute yeah I'm just gonna let this go off a little bit again give it a brush down but it's looking not bad at all is it um, so yeah, that is happy days. It just takes forever, forever and ever and ever. Lovely. I'll have a mess about with this in a minute. Cool. So back on my wall, i um, got a couple of big stones I want to get in. And this is the other side. And um, I've just brought this one in from outside. Um, it's got a lovely face on it. Where's it gone? There we are, <laughs> that way. And that'll look really nice. That's a bit sparkly as well, but it's a bit too thick, so I want to try and get some of the. Oh, sorry, Jesse. Jesse's helping. It's going. Doesn't need much of it. You can do this with sandstone, it's not so easy with the. <laughs> marble there we go big piece off um, so I get that bit off as well there we go that's better got some other little pieces as well that can go in too right, I'm gonna to try it the light's not super great in here sorry um, but I want him to go up there I think um, and set him on top of that one once that one's set in which it isn't yet or even yeah so I need to get that one set in get that one set in and then get this middle filled in and um, we can continue up as well yeah we're not far off as I'm getting near the top now I want it to be the same height as this shelf um, so I'm just gonna put a line on the wall I can see that I took top off my pen, it did help. That's it, it didn't move. There we go. And then I'll set it from the other side. <laughs> I'll come on and mark this side now and get them both the same. And um, that's where I want to end up. This is probably going to have some sort of topping on top of this yet. We still don't know. Um, but we'll go with that for now. Might, might just come a little bit past it just to allow us to put something on top of this when we decide what we're going to do might just tile it, we've got some marble tiles um, Chris from Tales from the Coach I'm desperate to get it to use so they might go on here as well super so this is going to be my last mix of the day I've got a box full of stones I just want to build that back up level so I can set that big one on it but I need to leave it overnight for that to go off and um, just get a bit packed in around here and just get this built up a little bit give me a slightly level surface here I've got a box full of stones <laughs> oh, you don't look too badly cool, will you go in there and we're nice to... alright I've got a couple of holes I need to fill in and that but we'll have a bit on there as well 
Oops. There we go. Nice. Right, to continue. There we go, I've got a reasonably flat top now there for my big stone there to sit on. Um, I'm going to let that go off a bit though till the morning before I drop him on. Don't want to disturb any of them and I need to find something equally for this side as well. Um, there's a couple of holes need filling, in but it's not doing bad is it? This is what the other side looks like, a little bit busier. Um, so cool, it's now time to feed the cats because they're all queuing up. Jesse's hungry. Are you hungry Jess? Right, I also picked a few more stones out. That's about the height where we want to be. Um, obviously it's just perched at the minute. And um, I've got this big one for the back here of course. So, um, time to get a mix on now. It's all gone off lovely. We can build on it a bit. Hopefully get somewhere near with it. Right, okay, <coughs> got them in. Um, I'm going to have to leave this one so it goes off a bit because I want, if I can get the height right, that will be the top of my wall as well. Um, so I need to mess about with it, pack it up, jiggle it around and I don't want to disturb these while I'm doing that. Um, so I guess it's back to pointing. So hopefully now I can get around the line and finish. I think that's alright. And um, try and get around this cave entrance and down this side of the wall done I'm on the side here as well I almost forgot about that bit I might put the light on to do that <laughs> we don't want to get it wet though This is taking a lot longer than I expected. Um, some of these joints are really big. I'm debating whether to stick stones in them or to just fill them up. Um, but I'm having to stick stones in a lot of them. It just makes it take a lot longer than you first think. I'm running out of stuff again already. Ah. He's a bit big for that. Find a smaller one. <coughs> Fab, so I've got the light done. Um, one camera. <laughs> got all this side inside. Hey! inside the arch done there um, across the top the arch the cave entrance um, and down this side yeah it's a fair chunk done unfortunately or fortunately I'm gonna have to leave it there because um, uh, I've got to pick shower up um, from the airport in a little bit so I'll just have a bit of time to let this go off a bit give it a brush down and then um, yeah I'm gonna bring her back so yeah, so Sharon will be back on the next one. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, we're trying to make it a bit more exciting. It's not the most exciting things in the world. But we're getting that wall finished and getting this, more of this done. Then we can start on the rest of the walls and um, eventually the floor. So yeah, happy days. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you on the next one.